Hi, I'm Tyson with Adventure Rig, and Cali and I are down here in Baja, Mexico, where it is still 85 degrees, even though it is puking back in Colorado with snow. And we've been doing quite a bit of mountain biking down here, and on our way down, we stopped in Sedona as well and did some mountain biking there. With these hot temperatures, I was looking for something that was gonna keep me comfortable and cool on an all day long ride. Well, Pearl Izumi has me covered. So I'm wearing the Summit Pro jersey and the Summit shorts. Now, I'm gonna talk about the shorts first. If you're interested in only the Summit Pro jersey review, just go ahead and take a look at the time bar below and you can jump to where the review for this jersey starts. Going back to the Summit shorts. So I was pretty excited to try these out. I've got a lot of older stuff from Pearl Izumi. I've always been fans of them, but probably the most exciting thing for me with these shorts is one, the new Levitate chamois. Big fan of that. Also, number two are these pockets. These face backwards instead of facing forwards. I'll get to those here in a second. Now I like these because of the hot conditions that we've been riding in. You can see in all of my glory, I'm pretty disgusting. So I've been riding in this stuff, I don't know, probably almost two weeks now, and I have yet to wash it. I know, that's gross, but I'm really trying to see how far we can take this. So at the end of a really hot ride, especially down here in Baja, we've had some unseasonably humid days where I am drenched head to toe in sweat. So that means these shorts are as well. Well, they dry pretty quick, which I'm a big fan of. Also, when this chamois gets wet, it's still comfortable. That's been something I've found in the past with other shorts is that once you're soaking wet, things just kind of aren't that comfortable anymore. But with this Levitate chamois, it still stays pretty comfortable even when everything else is wet. Also, we take the summers off and that's when we work. So when we start riding again in the fall, it's like we haven't really ridden in our entire life, it feels like. I mean, our bodies aren't used to it. And so getting back in the saddle, our butts tend to hurt. And I got these right away and it definitely made that transition into the riding season for us a lot easier. Now going to these pockets, I mentioned that they go backwards down this direction instead of going forwards. You can see that right now I have my phone in here and I didn't think this was gonna be that big of a deal because usually I always take my phone with me and it sits right here. And when I'm pedaling and you get to this motion, well, everything gets tight right here. And the shorts, these included, my past shorts, they all have some stretch to them. So it hasn't been the end of the world, just kind of slightly annoying. But now that this pocket goes to the back like this, there is no chance that I feel my phone ever. I'm actually blown away at how nice it is. I didn't think it was gonna be that big of a deal, but it has been that big of a deal. And now I don't really want shorts that have pockets going to the front. These shorts also have venting on the inside of the legs. Again, just helping with airflow, trying to keep everything cool. They also consist of a 12 and a half inch inseam. So they are just a little bit longer, but when I'm in my riding position, they're at the perfect length. I also don't have any problem pairing these with knee pads. There's plenty of room down there for everything to fit. Now, as far as sizing and fits concerned, I'm six feet tall and 200 pounds. These are a size 34. They do have a little bit of adjustability with the included belt. And something else I like is that there's not actually a button or anything on the top here. It's just the zipper that goes up and then you just snug the belt down. And that's what keeps everything in place. The belt also makes it extremely easy to adjust. If you found you had a rather large lunch, you can easily loosen them up or tighten them if you're losing weight that quickly on your ride. I mentioned that Levitate chamois earlier. These do come with this built-in chamois, and I like this as well because, again, it's very lightweight. There's a lot of perforation built into this liner. You can see that I can see my fingers through the material. Again, it's a lightweight material meant to keep you cool even on the hottest and longest of days. Jumping into the Summit Pro jersey. Similar to the shorts, this is a lightweight material, fast drying fabric. This is actually made by Polar Tech. It's called the Polar Tech Delta. And it's a recycled fabric that is very quick drying and pulls that moisture away from your skin to help you cool down all that much quicker. I think it's pretty clear to see on this jersey kind of my sweat pattern and where all of it seems to accumulate over time. But again, I haven't washed it yet and I've been sweating a ton down here. 
it does the job. And what I love about it is that even when I have it dirty like this, I can throw it back on and I don't smell so bad that no one wants to be around me. I mean, it doesn't smell like fresh laundry, but it also does not smell like a jersey that you've been wearing for a week or two weeks at a time. The sleeves as well as the neck are bonded, so there's not any stitching there. Kind of a cool feature. I do have a few different Pearl Izumi jerseys and they all seem to fit slightly different. Again, I'm six feet tall and 200 pounds. This is a size large and the fit is pretty good, but there is some improvement that I would personally like. In the front, it's just not quite as long as I would prefer. I'd like another two inches probably out of it, just giving me an extra little bit of length. However, in the back of the jersey, you can see that they've dropped this hem quite a ways. And so when you're in that riding position like this, you don't have it pulling up and having bare skin or your shorts or anything like that coming through. So I love the fact that they've done that. Now I haven't tried on an extra large, so I don't know how much bigger that would feel because everything from about here up, I mean, I, I like all of that. It's just that I'd love maybe just a little bit more length in the front. Now this has taken a little bit of abuse here in the desert. You can kind of see all these plants around us. It seems like they all are trying to kill us. They're all prickly, thorny. This guy right here has like one inch thorns hanging off of it. Well, on the bike trails, if you catch them, you can easily still rip this. So I, I do have a couple rips on the shoulder here, but that's bound to happen when you're wearing your stuff in an environment like this, where again, everything just seems like it wants to kill you. If you guys have any questions about the Summit Pro jersey or the Summit shorts made by Pearl Izumi, please leave them in the comments below and we'll get back to you. Also, if you're wondering where we are or what we're up to, check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Adventure Rig. If you found this review helpful, please give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe. Thanks again for watching. I'm Tyson with Adventure Rig.